Welcome to the Vegan Burger Review episode 3. This time we're at Junkyard in Skaven. We got the Sueta Burger. The uh, uh, country burger. And this is so juicy. <laughs> My name is uh, Ragnar Frey. I'm a graphic designer and a, and a teacher and a vegan activist. One of the things that I always associate you with is a list online. The uh, restaurant guide. So that started late 2014. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to uh, make a list of uh, the places you could get vegan food yeah. in Iceland. The list grew and grew and grew. Now there are just a handful of places that don't offer vegan options. Yeah. So pretty nice results. Uh, really uh, certainly not the only driving factor, but yeah. I like to uh, think that I played a, a little bit of a part in that. In uh, 2018, uh, me and Christian Inki started making it into an app. We released it in uh, Veganuary 2019. So definitely, if you're co coming to Iceland, uh, you should definitely check out the Vegan Iceland app. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, Vegan Iceland both on Android and uh, iPhone. I mean, it helps the locals a lot. <laughs> so it would definitely help yes. the, the, the travelers, you know. <laughs> yeah. Before we start rating it, I just want to acknowledge that this is a very special burger because it's got like this family traditional recipe from, uh, from Hungary. Getting an interview with the owner, We'll get more info on that. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the bread? It's really soft. It doesn't fall apart or anything. I think the, the bread is perfect with this. And it fits the burger. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Good 8.5. 8.5, yeah. wow. I might, I might go for a, a 9, actually. So the toppings. Uh, we have here uh, onion rings. Uh, red onion. Pickles. And we got this sauce that is with dill. The sauce is amazing. The sauce is... It, it's, it's, it's probably... Uh, 50% off the experience of the burger. Yeah, it tastes yeah. so good. And then we have, uh, I think, a little bit of yellow mustard. It's definitely a good combo. Yeah. I think they're basically a perfect 10. It's not your typical hamburger toppings. Yeah. I mean, the sauce is a 12, you know, on itself. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go for a 9.6. But the patty, no, the patty itself. I have actually no idea what's in the patty. I don't even, even care that much. It's so good. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely supposed to be meat-like, but everything in it, it's some kind of, it's a Hungarian traditional family recipe of spices. It's like a massive spice recipe. And, and yeah, and it just bursts in flavors in your mouth. When I first had this, I was I was kind of like, this is too much in, in a sense. It doesn't feel mm. like this like fake meat patties. Yeah. It's it's more, it has more consistency of a, like a, a good solid bean burger, Yeah, you know? But like for a person that uh, doesn't really like to eat meat for the texture, it's a little bit similar. It a could be an off-putting for you, but it's really more similar to, like you said, like a bean. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, yeah, you don't get this. Uh, it's not stringy or anything. It's, yeah, it's it doesn't more... like it doesn't bleed or you know stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's and it's also it's so homemade. Unique. Yeah, it's yeah. homemade yeah. and it's the so blend. unique. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a. A, a little, little bird watching us. Mm. I think it wants a French fry or something. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he took it. <laughs> wow, that's a big one. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving the patty a 10 here. 10? Yeah. It's, I, uh, yeah. I mean, I have to give it at least a 10. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. I'm, I'm going to go a little bit lower yeah. uh, and, and say 9.6, like, yeah, like yeah, he did yeah. before. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to change my patty to a 9.6 as well. So the messiness. It is a bit messy. Yeah. I don't but that's to be expected when you have a lot of sauce. Yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> he's up on the table now. Yeah. Wow. Uh oh. He's friendly. Yeah. Uh, but I'm a messy eater. Yeah. Uh, I tried not to be, but I am. Yeah. Well, I haven't spilled anything actually. Okay. And it's, it's and it that's, is uh, that's some kind of magic. I'm usually a little <laughs> bit messy as well. I have no idea. This is a miracle, you know. <laughs> but. Uh, but this actually supposed to be a little bit messy, mm -hmm. but and it does its job perfectly for me. I had to like switch sides to get the sauce that was falling, right, you know, right. stuff like that. Like it's a part of a burger experience. Right. Kind of. We want so, it to be a little bit sweaty, you know. Yeah. If yeah. I mean, if the burger is, I mean, if the burger is falling apart and it's just uh, it's just going everywhere and it's so difficult to eat it, 
it's you're not gonna give it a good grade. Yeah. But exactly. if it's if it's a little bit messy and it's kind of supposed to be messy, you're mm -hmm. gonna give it a good grade. Eight yeah. point five or a nine. Maybe eight. Eight point five. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to get too. It's it's, it's actually kind of perfect. The only thing that could be uh, you know, degrading here is traditionally you will take this home or to your office or yeah. eat this in your car. Uh -huh. So if it's a little bit messy, <coughs> you can fall. Now it broke apart. Maybe I gave the messiness a bit too high. For this, yeah. I'll go back down to eight. The V factor, the vegan X factor. Mm -hmm. This could be something that you would never believe it's vegan or it's so unique as a vegan food or there's something about it that you have no idea how to rate anywhere else. Uh, um, 20. <laughs> <laughs> I have to almost agree. Yeah, yeah. Because this burger is definitely unique. When I first tried it, it just blew my mind. Yeah. I was I was getting a little bit like bored. Everything was kind of the same. You had like this Satan burger or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or a fake meat patty. Yeah. With, and you had all the traditional sauces and uh, yeah, you know, like the mayo yeah, and yeah. chipotle mayo and stuff like that. And yeah. you, I was getting a little bit um, bored of the yeah. taste, like traditional it's taste. Like, so, yeah, it's like all the shops everywhere were getting the same vegan same burger. Thing, you know. Same thing, same thing. And I had my uh, Omni friend try it the other day and he said that it's unlike anything I've ever tasted. Yeah. I think that's the X factor, uh, or yeah. the V factor yeah, that, that we're looking for. Yeah, the golden spot of the V factor, it's yeah, crazy. I definitely. Mean, like the next years, I don't mm -hmm. think I will ever, ever taste a burger that is as unique as this one. Yeah. I'm <laughs> thinking of uh, giving it a 10.5. Okay, is that allowed? I don't know. Yeah. For this burger? We'll go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. Um, and I'll go for an 11. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll go for 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a competition <laughs> like, now. God damn. <laughs> but the V factor for this one is just, it's absolutely perfect. I, th I think so. Yeah. Yeah, with the, like the dill in the sauce, yeah. the onion rings on it, and just the patty itself is, is just phenomenal. So, the satisfaction. Would I come here and pay the price for the burger? Just. Like for uh, clarity, we're getting this free to rate it. Yeah. Uh, but we both paid for it before. <laughs> oh, definitely. And yeah. we would definitely pay pay for it again. I think so. <laughs> I think so. And it's actually quite filling. I do tend to eat a lot. You have this show to get free stuff, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, this is a really good meal. I'm full. I actually don't feel like I need to eat these fries yeah. after the burger, so. Yeah. I would like the fries to be a little bit thicker. It's just because I like thicker fries. It's a preference. It's like difficult to get them uh, without them falling around. Yeah. So if they were big, you could like get one or two exactly. pieces at a time. Especially if you're in, in the car, I would feel like it's easier to eat. But I really love the flavor. And if you like cocktail sauce, this is just like cocktail sauce. Yeah. It's a vegan version, of course. Oh, I'm just thinking about the sauce of the burger now. It's so good. I would like that that instead of the cocktail sauce oh, with, the uh, with the fries i think oh. i think that would be pretty good <coughs> it's probably possible to ask for yeah that. yeah definitely you know, so next time i'm gonna it's ask a, for that yeah that's but, a good idea but i'm really satisfied it's a nine for me nine though. i think i might go there as well i think this burger is uh it's gonna be hard to beat yeah it's yeah. gonna be really hard to beat oh, honestly if this burger ends uh, up as the best burger yeah. i've ever tasted i'm happy yeah it's so I, I would make me pretty happy Cheers. And now the results. The Country Burger got a total rating of 9.36, which makes it the highest rating so far. I got a great interview with the owner, whose name is also Daniel, uh, to talk about the incredible story of the burger and more. I will release the whole interview soon, but in a longer version of the episode you will see the best bits, along with more detailed breakdown for each part of the burger and more introduction of Ragnar and Junkyard. To access the whole uh, top list of the burgers so far, visit my website thelosticelander.com where you can also see the written breakdown of this burger. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment with your feedback. I would highly appreciate it. Thank you and have an epic week.